So today what we're going to be doing is moving our Docker folder and we're going to be doing that for two reasons. And a special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life where we make technology simplified. And so today we're going to be moving our Docker folder off our OS disk for two reasons. So one is if we use a lot of Dockers or we add and delete a lot of Dockers like I do, it can fill up that OS disk. This is especially a problem if you have a Raspberry Pi. So we're going to move it off for that reason. The second way is to make an easy way for us to cap copy our absolute path so then uh, when we need to add it into our Docker images, then we just have a simple copy and paste way to do it rather than double clicking on it and then copying it from the sidebar like we have to do uh, with Google Chrome. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically we're going to change this storage area right here. And so currently this is going to be stored on the OS disk and so we want to stop it doing that when we want to put it on our media disk. And so just to show you we have a couple of things on here already. Of course we have Portainer running, then we have Radar, Kodi, Beats, and so if we look at those they're all running right now and so this is an example so nothing in Beats. Kodi has logged out already and then there's Radar. So why I'm showing you those to start out with is just to show what happens to your Dockers when you do this. So first thing we want to do is find our absolute path. So we'll go to shared folders, click on that, and then right click and then go down to inspect. And so that brings over the source code of the page and there you can see there is our folder that we clicked on. And this will only work if you're using Google Chrome. So make sure you're using Google Chrome when you do this. Double click on the disk and then copy that and you can close this go back to OMB extras docker and right there we're going to highlight it and then paste that in and then we're going to put a slash docker and so what this will do is create a docker folder in our app data folder so from now on all our dockers will be saved on our media disk rather than our os disk Okay, then how you would change this is you click save. So this is gonna take more than a few minutes, so get a cup of coffee. So now it's done, so let's take a look at what has happened here. So the first thing that you'll notice is that Portainer is no longer installed. And so if we go to these different things, if we refresh the Portainer page, it's not there anymore. If we go to Beats, gone, Cody gone, and Radar, and Radar gone. So basically it has, it has erased all the Docker images when it is moved back over. So the good news is your app data and your media is still there and so all you have to do is reinstall the Docker containers using the same configuration that you did the first time. So the first thing we want to do is click on Portainer and install. You can close that. Now if we go to our shared folders on the network, we can see that Portainer is now installed in that Docker folder. So click on File Explorer. And so now we're in our server. And click on App Data. And here we can see we have a Docker folder now, which we just added, and there's the Kodi and Radar folders before. Double click on the Docker folder. Now if we click on Volumes, we can see there is our Portainer data. So let's go back and let's try installing Radar and see how that works and see if we can get it back to this point. So open Portainer. And you'll have to re-log in again because we're creating a new image. Click on local and then connect. Click on local and then 
containers and there's our portainer running now we're going to click on app templates and here you see we don't have any app templates for the ones that we uh, just installed so we're going to go down to settings next we want to go to github self-hosted pro and we're going to copy a little script so then we have more templates available and if you want to see how we did this i'll leave a video link above here for the video on how to do that so we get to self-hosted pro we scroll down then where it says installing we copy this url and then we go back to our settings page and where it says use external templates we're going to toggle that on and then we're going to paste in that url and then click save settings at the bottom now if we go to app templates you can see all our app tape templates are back we're going to type in radar in the search bar click on radar and so to install this we're going to show advanced we're going to leave the port as is and then and then we're going to put in our absolute path to our shared folders here here and here so now we can just copy this Paste that there. Same thing there. So now these three things are mapped to the folders we have, app data, downloads, and media. If we go back to our shared folders, there you can see app data, downloads, and media. So we're going to deploy the container. And yes, it's time for another cup of coffee. Once that's done, you can see this is on port 7878. So we'll copy our IP address, paste that in, backspace, colon, 7878, hit enter, and our radar is up and running. If we go back to our shared folders, click on that, open up app data, click on Docker, and now if we go into containers, we can't tell, but these, now we have two containers, one of which is Portainer, the other one is Radar. So that is how we move our Docker folder and how we get our files back into those containers once we redo them. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. And we'll see you next time. You have a great day. Bye-bye.